other mode. And we're going to wait for our official all clear before we head on into the reserve. We're going to enter the Little Atari Forest to start things off. And in the Little Atari Forest, the animals blend in pretty well with their surroundings. A great natural camouflage to them due to the earthy color tones to their bodies. So we'll see what we can spot together. Might have to look in the thick brush and shrubs. Because typically that's where they like to hide during the day. Here we go. So you'll notice over here on the right hand side, in the very back, that's an okapi that's moving around. The okapi kind of looks like a cross between a horse and a zebra, but does anybody know the animal it's a relative of? A giraffe. Yes, it is a relative of the giraffe. It has similar structures in its neck, its skull, and its tongue. In fact, its tongue is long enough it can lick its own ears and eyeballs, which is pretty important. Um, you have to stay seated for me, please, and facing forward. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Not good, don't do that. That's an okapi over there once again. So for the longest time, they actually didn't think that the okapi existed. It was just a myth until about 1901 when they actually discovered it. Gonna head on down here by the watering hole. Great social area for animals to come and hang out. You'll see a greater kudu up here on your right hand side. A couple of greater kudu, or type of antelope, the second tallest antelope in Africa, about five feet. And then there's a black rhino over here on the left hand side. Yeah, they're about 3,000 pounds, can charge up to roughly 35 miles an hour, but unfortunately my friends are almost 60. There are less than 5,000 left in the entire world, and they don't have any natural predators. The only predators they have are humans because of the poaching of their horns. There are some cultures out there that believe a rhino's horn has some type of medical benefit to us, but it doesn't. It's made of keratin. It's the same stuff that it makes up for hair and fingers. Uh, these are bongos down here on the left hand side. Bongos are known as the ghosts of the forest because they're very rarely seen. A rusty color coat usually makes them blend in pretty well with their surroundings, so they look pretty impossible to find. And we're going to head on out of the Little Atari Forest and we're actually going to make our way coming up into the Safi River region of the reserve. And in the Safi River, there's a good chance we'll see some different species of birds, some Nile crocodile, and maybe even some Nile hippopotamus. And I'll tell you that Nile hippopotamus, they spend most of their days submerged underneath the surface. They only come up about every five or six minutes or so for air. And hippos are herbivores, so they eat plants, usually eating about 100 pounds of food per day. See at least one of the hippos over there on the right hand side. A group of hippos is called the bloat, B L O A T. And the Swahili word for hippo is kiboko. Same thing about pelicans over here on the left hand side. Pinkback pelicans are the gray and the white birds, and they get their name from a pink hit slogan on their back during mating season. The laying on some nests right now. It's mating season. So if they open up their wings, you'd really be able to see it. Um, they do have a wingspan of about eight feet wide, too. So in comparison to something, it's almost as wide as this truck. The truck is a little bit wider, but pretty big. A couple more hippos down here. <laughs> Trying to stay nice and cool. They stay under the surface to stay nice and cool, protect their skin from the sun. A group of crocodiles is called the bass, B A S K. They grow to be about 18, 20 feet long and 500 pounds full grown. Usually throughout the day, they keep their mouths propped open, and it's not to show off their pearly whites, it's just to cool off. Now, crocodiles don't have any sweat glands, so the only way they can cool off is by releasing their excess heat from their body through their mouths. Safi River and we're actually going to start to make our way coming up into the 